Is there a point of overclocking your processor to get maximum performance in DaVinci Resolve? Recently, I built a relatively very powerful computer featuring Threadripper 2950X processor. It's a 16-core processor that runs at the basic speed of 3.5 GHz. And recently, I wanted to put this processor to a test if there's a really difference inside DaVinci Resolve depending on my clock speed. Now, before I started, I ran my CPU in the Cinebench Release 20 that just recently came out, and basically, I came with the results that increasing speed by 600 MHz gives me about 14% increase in performance. That should be about 8.4 seconds for one minute clip. So, inside the Vinci Resolve, I basically started running tests featuring H.264 and DNX HR, basically rendering footage side by side, and this is the results that I came up with. I personally noticed this a very long time ago, that DaVinci Resolve does not utilize your hardware to a full potential, despite many colorists claiming that having two graphics cards is beneficial. I'm sure it's beneficial to a certain point, but definitely not worth an upgrade and wasting your money. Because in my test, GPU and CPU load pretty much remain the same across different codecs and different tests. Therefore, 35 and 37 percent is not full potential of the hardware. I actually found something very interesting that at native clock speed, DNX HR actually runs a little bit faster than overclocked 3.9 gigahertz. We see a little bit increase in performance overclocking the processor to 4.1 gigahertz, but that difference is so little that it's really not worth cooking your processor just to get a couple seconds on the clip. I'm gonna continue running different tests on my end to see if anything I can do to actually really increase performance based on your hardware and hopefully utilize your CPU to actual full potential to closer 100% or 80 or something like that. Because for example, in many 3D programs when you're rendering, your CPU goes in a full 100% load. So hopefully there will be an option to do the same thing in DaVinci Resolve to kind of utilize and use all that power that you have. Otherwise, there's no point of investing money in getting high-end CPU like that. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys.